Hey there, so welcome back. Let's do something for fall, and my friend Jennifer is going to show us how to foil paint a pumpkin sign. So I can't wait. Let's get started. Welcome to Julie's Wreath Boutique. I know I'm not sitting here with the talking hands and the craft supplies, but we're going to do something really different this week. I have a friend named Jennifer from Canvas Science Designs, and she's going to do our video for today. She's going to show you how to make the most adorable pumpkin and show you the techniques and all the tools that you need to use. And she's going to show you how to do it so that you can get started on your fall decor. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you having a guest this week? Well, big news in Julie's Wreath Boutique and in our household, we bought a house and we are moving. So that means a lot of work, a lot of chaos, and we're building a studio for Julie's Wreath Boutique. So I'm so excited to share that with you and really kind of share the organizing part of crafting. So do me a favor, watch the whole video. And if you watch the whole video, make sure you leave in the comments a pumpkin for me, okay? Because I'm going to be looking to see if you watched it all. But make sure you go follow Jennifer on her YouTube channel. All the links to her social media will be in the description box below. Make sure to give her some love and subscribe and encourage her to make more videos. She's great at what she does and she has a lot to teach you. So let's get started and here's Jennifer. Hey guys, this is Jennifer here with Canvas Sign Designs and today I am going to show you a new technique that I recently learned at a craft retreat. Um, this was so much fun and I loved it so much that I came right home, ordered supplies online, and I'm going to show you how to do it on this pumpkin. Um, you can use it on any wood cutout, so this will just be an example. There will be a link to purchase the this pumpkin cut out if you want. Um, you could apply it to a wreath, you could put it on a table, um, any, anything you want. And again, you can use it on any type of wood cut out that you would like. Um, here are two examples of what this technique looks like. It is so cool. It's called foiling and immediately in my mind, I thought it would come out very metallic-y looking, but it does not. Um, you really just apply it to whatever surface you want with a special adhesive foil adhesive glue. And um, it goes on super easy. It's such a fun thing to do. So I thought this would be perfect to show you guys. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve this look um, on this pumpkin. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, um, I thought it would be fun to kind of put this leopard print around the outside and do this inside of this pumpkin orange. So what I'm going to do first is paint these two outer strips um, so that it can go ahead and dry and then we can apply our glue. Um, I'm going to be using this uh, Waverly Truffle dark brown color. You do not have to paint um, underneath the surface that you are applying it to, uh, but I think it just kind of overall gives a better, more rich look when you do. So that is what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to just, I'm just going to put it on this outer edge here. Now, while I'm waiting on this to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my stem as well. Now it's time to apply our glue. Um, this, I will provide all the links for you to purchase this. Um, it is um, on Artistic Painting Studios website. They have uh, the foil adhesive, and then they have all kinds of different patterns um, of foil to choose from. So it's, it's really fun and the possibilities are endless. Um, okay, so I'm going to get this glue and I'm going to apply a very, very thin layer of the glue on top of this part of the brown. Okay, you don't want it to go on really thick. You want to keep it pretty thin because uh, you want it to be able to dry fast.
Okay, as you can see, I did not have to use very much glue at all to make this work here. And you can kind of see where I applied the glue um, by holding it up to the light and it's kind of shiny. Now they recommend that you wait 60 minutes uh, for this adhesive to dry before applying your foil. I will tell you that I did not wait that long um, when I did it at the retreat or when I have practiced it at home, but that is their recommendations. So um, we are just gonna let this dry for a little while and then we will apply our foil. We're back and hopefully we're dry enough. Um, so this needs to be like, you'll feel it, and it's gonna be very tacky. You can see my fingers sticking to it here, um, but there's nothing on my fingers. So it looks really wet still, but as long as your finger is dry, you are good to go, all right? So next, what I'm going to do is grab my foil, okay? And it will come in this little roll here. I am going to kind of cover this pumpkin. I'm going to cover this pumpkin, just the area right here that I want to foil. So I will lay my foil on here. Now they recommend getting like a toothbrush or a scrub brush and just kind of pushing down on here just to kind of secure your foil onto the glue. And so only where the glue is, is where it is going to um, stick. I'm just rubbing this all over. So you can use a toothbrush to do this part. You can also use a scrub brush. So I have the scrub brush that I've never used um, and I'm just going to push down on here with a little bit of pressure. So as you are pushing down, um, this foil has two layers. Um, and once you get it all uh, pressed down, um, you will kind of see it start to turn white. Uh, and it should be completely white by the time that you are done. When you lift the paper off, the print will stay on the sign and you will just be pulling off the transfer, okay? So I used my brush a little bit. Now I'm going to use just this little squeegee. You can use a credit card, driver's license. And I'm just gonna kind of press firmly over the rest of it. And you can see it kind of releasing. Once it's releasing like that, you are good. So you just wanna make sure all those areas are nice and released. And that shows you that the pattern is um, on your your surface. Now you can use this on metal, you can use it on clay pots, you can use it on wood, you can use it anywhere. If you wanted to put it on furniture, um, it is such a cool like method, technique that you have so many possibilities. Okay, and now you can see um, this part right here has kind of a white cast on it. And we are ready for the reveal. Are you ready? Look at how amazing that is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it is super, super smooth. And that just transferred beautifully. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side. So now we have our nice, beautiful uh, leopard print, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint orange here in the middle, and then we're going to accent, and then we're going to be done. Okay. 
now that it's dry, I'm just going to add a little bit of um, cute little accents to it, just to kind of dress it up a bit. Just kind of chose a couple of the neutral colors that matched. Um, in here, I will have these uh, listed on the supply list so that you will know what to get. But I just like to add just a couple of little, little lines here. And you could do all kinds of stuff. Um, you can paint over this. So if you wanted to add something on top of here or you cut out the lines, you are going to be fine because you can just paint over it. I like to add just a little bit of white, just to kind of give it a little bit of brightness. And then you could always go in with um, a darker brown if you wanted to. Just kind of showing you all the different options. Really have fun with it. It would look really cute if you did maybe like a turquoise. That would be really cute. And again, they have all different kinds of patterns for you to choose from. They have different color of this um, animal print. They have, they just have all kinds of, all kinds of goodies. All right, so that's what my pumpkin looks like. Isn't that pretty, guys? I just love all the different things that you could do with this. I think it would also look really cute if you um, maybe tied some raffia around the stem. Or you could, you know, glue, glue a little bow here on the side. I guess just depending on where you're going to use it. I think actually I will. Do a cute bow and then glue it on with just some hot glue. Just, just like that when um, I am done. So there you go, guys. This is such an easy, simple craft to do. Um, all you need is the foil and the foil adhesive and some paints, any kind of wood cutout that you want to use. And um, it's just fast and easy. Um, I will attach the links so that you know where to purchase and you can go find your foil. Um, thanks for watching. And I can't wait to see all the things that you make with this. Be sure to tag me, um, Canvas Sign Designs. Um, I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, all of the places, um, YouTube uh, at Canvas Sign Designs. Thanks for watching.